guys it's me at games welcome back to another episode of the xenoverse last time we played as joyce the red magma the fourth member of the ginyu force and today we're now playing as the final member of the ginyu force so yeah we're gonna head straight over that huh you sure look familiar but we're gonna head straight on in to the rounds and this video is going to have a lot of presets and i'll explain why because um I actually like forgot to do something in previous videos, but we're gonna make up for it here. But it's just, yeah, this the way I'm have to the way I'm doing it in this video to make up for it is um, you, well, well, you'll just see. So we're gonna head in, and honestly, this might be one of this might be the th character with the third most presets if you really think about it. Like you know, there's Vegeta, there's Go well, Goku has the most, and there's Vegeta. This character that I'm playing as today might actually have. The third most presets in the game, which I mean, if you look at what I'm doing in this video, then technically, yeah. But yeah, we're just gonna go look for a room. So, all right, so we found a room with Mickey. Ha ha! Five five zero six. You know, we found a room with Wap. But okay, so today's video, like I said, we've gone through all the members of the Ginyu Force, besides the captain. Now, the reason this Ginyu's or Captain Ginyu's gonna have a lot of presets is because if you remember the very first episode of the Xenoverse, I actually used this Trunks in the Trunks video, but I forgot to use Goku and Vegeta in the Vegeta and Goku videos. Plus, Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks also have a Captain Ginyu preset on them. So what I'm gonna do is when I hit uh, like the Ginyu right before Vegeta, which I think is the second or third preset of Ginyu. Once I get there, we're gonna move on. Like, like first I'm gonna do Goku, and then like you'll see. I'm just gonna do. I'm, I'm, it's gonna be a weird order that I'm doing this in, but I, I'm just trying to make up for what I missed before. We're gonna do all of the like we're gonna do Goku Vegeta as the last two characters we play as, just because they're completely different from Ginyu's fighting style. Like they fight like Goku Vegeta. But yeah, we got Captain Ginyu here today, so yo, it's gonna be lit. Come here, come here, Mickey. Oh, Mickey, you're so fun. <laughs> That's copyright. Why, why does this camera look weird? Is it just because he's so short? Sledgehammer, there you go. Loki Cannon. Loki Cannon is a great move in this game. Oh, I don't have another. Let's throw him away. Dragon throw. Let's just use the basic Goku throw. Pose on him. In you force. Moving out. I think this one. What did you become, Kid Boo? Whoa! <laughs> okay, Ginyu! That was lit! He flew straight into my team That was lit. Oh my god, Ginyu clapping already? Jeez, Ginyu, you need to chill! Look, that round was 39 seconds. Jesus Christ, why, why did that go so fast? Oh my god, like, I was not expecting him to fly into my key blast like that. Like, Jesus. That was, that was wild. Is he gonna ready up again? I hope. I don't want to find another room, really, but... Oh, he kicked me. Okay, well... We gotta go find another room then. Okay, so we actually ended up finding the exact same room with the same person. But yeah, so what I was saying is, because, you know, preset 3 starts off with Vegeta. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this round of preset 2. And then we're actually going to jump over to Goku and use the Captain Ginyu on here. Yeah, we're going to use this Ginyu. Actually, hmm, actually, you know what? We're gonna skip the characters for now. Then we're gonna go to the last preset because that's when he actually body changes. Because the last preset's the one where he uses, you know, when in the anime he like put him, hurt himself through the chest, and then body change with Goku. So we're gonna use that preset as the third one, and then we're gonna jump to the Ginyu that's on Goku, like on Goku's character slot. Then the Ginyu on Vegeta's character slot, and then we'll use Vegeta and Goku as the last two. That's the that's the order we're gonna do this, just because. Forgot to do the Goku and Vegeta in their videos because, like, I literally forgot that they were a thing. And plus, the Goku one, I, f I forgot, like, like, uh, like, a, it was a long time ago because, like, it was, like, in one of the first episodes of the Xenoverse. Oh, th wait, this pose does. Oh, fighting pose F is kind of broken. Look at this. I think it just takes away my stamina, right? Oh, but I don't get key really fast. It, like, I literally just don't get key back from attacking. Oh, Ginyu using them disco moves. <laughs> See this man? But, yeah, so we're gonna 
I'm gonna use that third priest that I gave you, and then we'll switch over to the rest of them. Why is this demon here? I guess not. Oh, he's transforming? Okay. I was wondering what they were doing. Like, huh? Oh, cannon. There you go. Sledge. Oh, I missed. <laughs> what are you doing, Noha? Okay. Get milk. Oh, dang. I was trying to milk the cannon, though. Oh, you're gonna get tossed now. You're gonna get tossed like a salad. There you go. This cheap. Throw up my key blast. Oh, Jesus Christ, kid you. <laughs> he just elbowed him in the face. And then you see the key blast go by. Oh, my God. But, yeah. So, like I said, this video is going to be really weird and out of order for the character slot. Just because, you know, I want to use all the characters that, like... Because I would have uh, just stuck with, you know, doing it in order. But I want to play as the Goku and Vegeta Ginyu last. Because they fight like Goku and Vegeta. Like, I want to play as all the ones that... Because they literally have Goku and Vegeta... got kicked again so we're gonna find a new room but yeah they literally have goku vegeta's combos and the other ginyus have ginyus combos so yeah all right now we found another room with ultra ultra daddy it's like ultra instinct like ultra dad i don't know but yeah so like i said we played as the first two presets of ginyu and the third one's vegeta uh trunks we're not even going to use in this video we'll use the ginyu that's on trunks too but we're not going to use this character right here this slot I already used them in the very first episode of the Xenoverse. Like, geez, it was a long time ago. But, yeah, I had to go back and I realized that I forgot to do this Goku and the other. And, um, the, the Vegeta. So we're going to make up for that today. And, yeah, so we're going to move to this one first just because this is when he actually body changes. Because he, like, you know, has the Holstein shock. And then we'll move on to the next two. And then it'll be my cu custom Ginyu too. So like Ginyu's gonna ha he has a lot of presets we gotta go through. So this video will probably end once I actually hit the last preset because like this might be a kind of a longer video depending on how this goes. But yeah we're fighting against Adult Gohan now who Adult Gohan's really good in this game, not gonna lie. Come here, adult Gohan. Oh I'm trying to do a charge key blast but it's not working. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's bot. It's bot. Oh, I got slapped up. He missed his thing. Throw that out. Oh, I didn't mean to hit him with it, actually. Oh. Oh, you know what? I just realized I have that move. Oh, this is one of my favorite moves in the game. Oh, never mind. My stamina is broken, so maybe maybe not. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh no, oh no, I don't even get to show it off. I don't want to show it off. New Force uh, special combo. It's a really good move in this Like, I am a pretty good move. Look at that, it works as a back hit. This is just a good move all around. Jeez. Dodge. There you go. Now you see that? I can literally use it as a back hit and a front hit. Like, it's just such a good move and it does a lot of damage if I can actually get it off. Ooh, okay. Hey, it doesn't move forward enough. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. 100% dead. Oh, it looks like we're going to be doing more rounds. That's why I said this video might be kind of long. If I, if, especially if I, like, lose. <laughs> See me hopping around. I'm literally getting you, frog. That one. Back up. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, am I dead? I think I'm dead. Yeah, oh jeez, that did a lot of damage. Like, oh jeez, go on, calm down. But, yeah, so we got more presets with this Ginyu, so let's just, uh, yeah, let's just keep going, I suppose. Now he's playing as Piccolo, and we're in Space Earth, and yeah, we're doing another round with this Captain Ginyu of the Ginyu Force. But, yeah, look, look he got a big hole in his chest right there, Jesus. But, yeah, we got to play as Captain Ginyu today. Around him. Dodge around him again. Back hit. He's got a lot of stamina. I just noticed that. Like, Jesus, that's a lot. Can you force? Can you? <laughs> Wait, is this the fighting pose? Or... Oh, I can get grabbed, though. I think he knows. I think he knows. Like, I, th I think he knows what fighting pose I have, because he... the first thing he did was grab me. So, I think you know. If you know, you know. Huh? Woo! Okay. 
Jesus Christ. Oh, I missed. I gave you for a special combo. It did not work. Okay, I'm lagging a little bit. It's not too bad. Ah, hello? As soon as I say that, like, uh, get hit by something that I didn't see. Whoa, whoa, whoa! His arm, like, teleported in front of me. What? Okay, look, we clash. This is a good round. Imagine if, the, if Captain Ginyu fought Piccolo, though. How wild that would have been. I mean, they would have gotten clapped because Piccolo was actually really strong. But he was like, was it, at, like, especially if it was after he fused with Nail? I think I mentioned this in another video, actually. If Piccolo had fused with Nail and went to fight the Ginyus, Ginyus would have been clapped. Like, easy. Easy lead clap. They throw it out raw. This worked. Nope. <laughs> that would have been great. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to get the body change now. That's my goal right now. Oh, jeez. Got me, I did. Break my stamina, I did. Dang, he just flew away. That's probably the smarter thing to do there. To be honest. I like, blame him for that. But for that, I oh, That was kind of my fault, too, that he missed. And I'm about to die again. Oh, jeez, my back. My purple. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm Captain Ginyu. Can you for Jeez, you see the blood on the Whoa, do you see the blood in his like chest right there? Cause he got battled he got more damage, Jesus. But yeah, so we got one more round with this Ginyu. Yeah, this video gonna be long. We're not we're probably not or yeah, we're not doing extra rounds for this video most likely. Cause just, Jesus, this is a lot of presets I gotta go through. So Yeah, we got one more with this Ginyu. So let's just see how it goes. Let's see how this plays out. We gonna do it, that's for sure. And what he's playing is Dodge! His cat. Oh my god, what is. This? Perfect Super Saiyan God. Old. Ultra. Daddy. But. Uh, yeah, and his name. His cat name is Dodge, and he's got a beard. And. Um. Yeah, he's got Topo's beard. Or mustache. Like, what moves does he have? Oh, he does have moves. Okay, I was wondering. I was like, does he even have moves? He has Fighting Pose K, though, I saw that. Well, he's a member of the Ginyu Force, is he? I don't know what I'm talking about. But <laughs> smack him up, smack him up. There you go. Smack him up. Why is he letting me hit him? Man? Oh, I meant to use Guinea for a special combo, and I clicked Mickey. Mickey? I almost said I clicked Mickey Cannon. I clicked Milky Cannon. Mickey Cannon. Oh my. Oh no! Oh okay. <laughs> oh, all right then. Well, in that case, body is mine. Change now! Oh come on! What? How did it miss? How? What? Oh, I'll do that to you though. I got you. I got you. Hey, how? Why does he want to do it to me but not let me do it to him? What? What's the difference? Like, what? Did you see how he went for it? But then didn't let me go for it? Like, literally, what's the difference? Like, huh? How are you gonna go for it? Then, like, get mad when I go for it? What? What? Mickey. Mickey. Milky Cannon. Okay, missed. Mickey Cannon. Oh, it just blows it up. Back up. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? Whoa! What? I mean, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> go for it. Bet. I got his cack. I mean, I didn't get the body change off, but... I mean, whatever. Now I'm his cack. It's C-A-C. Oh. oh, well, he was waiting until he had no stamina to do this, too. I just realized that. Is that, like, his goal, there? To have no stamina to do this? What? Huh? 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 Whoa! What is going on? Going on, game? What's going on with you? I see him coming at my heart on B. That's weird. I'm so used to having it on X. There, we got him. We got him with that. We got him with that. Oh, jeez. Oh my God. What is going on? Your ultra that to you. Oh well, I'm dead. But I mean, technically, Ginyu won, right? But 
Yeah, so we've got a few more presets again you to still go through. Uh, technically, look, he's dead. Look, look, he lost. See, this is from his point of view, actually. Um, Captain Ginyu wins. Captain Ginyu wins. I, I, I don't know what y'all are talking about. That was definitely a dub for you, Ginyu. That's what I saw. I don't know what y'all saw, but... Jeez, that was really laggy towards the end there, though. I don't know. Well, we're going to keep going with old Tra Daddy. And, yeah, so like I said, now we're moving on to back to Goku. But we're actually using Ginyu Goku today. Actually, you know what? We'll do Ginyu Trunks first, just because he was the first, you know, character in the Xenoverse. We're going Ginyu Trunks first. You know, we finally got to this point. He literally... <sighs> Wait, huh? He has Trunks as moves? Like, heat dome attack and stuff? Hold on, I need to see this. I've never played as Ginyu Trunks. Did they change that? Did he have this before? Ginyu with heat dome attack? I gotta see it. I, I gotta see it. That sounds hilarious. Like, what? Now he's Captain Ginyu. Oh, he's Ginyu Goku. Who would have thought? But... Wait, I have to see Ginyu with, like... Trunks's moves. That sounds hilarious. I didn't know he actually had Trunks' moves. I thought he still just had his normal Ginyu moves. Wait, so does that apply to Goku too? Does he have Goku's moves like Kamehameha and stuff? Because if so, that's amazing. I like. I, I didn't know that Ginyu had Trunks' moves. That's that's hilarious. Is he gonna charge? Oh. That's that's actually hilarious though. I didn't know that he had Trunks' moves on him. Now I gotta see them. I gotta see what they're like. That just sounds hilarious. Like, it actually just sounds amazing thinking about it. Like, I need to see this. His final cannon. Oh my god. So Ginyu's basically a cack in this game, is what I'm hearing. Because he literally has Trunks' moves, he has Goku. Wait, does he also have Vegeta's moves? Bro, I have to- I, I need to see this now. Finish Buster on Ginyu? Like, it's just funny seeing it coming out of Ginyu. Like, I, I, I especially didn't know he had heat done with that. That's what I, like, for sure, like, ever would have guessed that he had in this game. Like, Ginyu, of all people, is he done with that in this game? I mean, it is technically Trunks, just with, you know, Ginyu's body. But, it's still hilarious. Which, if you don't know why Trunks has Ginyu's body, it's a Xenoverse thing. Like, it's a thing original to this game. If you've, like, never played the game and you've watched the show and you're like, why does, why is Ginyu in Trunks' body? What? That's because. It's a thing that happens in this game. <laughs> like, it's not a canon thing. It's just, the game, Ginyu ends up, wait, does he have Trunks' grab? No, he has his normal grab. Okay. That would have been hilarious if he actually had Trunks' grab. Been even better. Oh, no. This could be very, very, very bad for me. Not that bad, though. Finish Buster. Oh, I got you with this. Yeet! Oh, what? <laughs> it's just hilarious seeing Ginyu use the move that killed the, one of the Andrew. Was it 17? Yeah, just seeing Ginyu use that move. Just what? What am I playing? <laughs> what what <laughs> what is this? What? You would have never expected Ginyu to be able to kill the android. Like he looked, that was literally Trunks' move. Change the future is the move when Trunks kills. I think I think it was 17. I don't remember which one. No, maybe it was 18. I don't know. Whichever one he like dashes up to and does something. It's that android. I forgot which one. Oh stupid. Stupid. Now I got I have to do heat dome attack. I absolutely have to. For good. Are you kidding? It missed? Really? It missed? How? Oh, oh well. Finish Buster. Oh, come on. Come on. I can't believe that missed. The heat dome attack. I think I was too high. But, well, we got a dub with Gen Genyu Trunks. Now we're going to move on to Ginyu, Go Ginyu Goku, then Vegeta. Yeah. And then we'll, we'll actually use Ginyu Goku as like, or Goku Ginyu. So when I say Ginyu Goku, it means that it's Ginyu... And, okay, so this was Trunks Ginyu, because there's Trunks and Ginyu's body. So next we're going to use Goku Ginyu, which is Goku and Ginyu's body. Then we're going to use Vegeta Ginyu. And then we'll use Ginyu Vegeta, and then Ginyu Goku to finish it off. So, does he actually... He has he has Kamehameha. Oh, he doesn't have uh, Super Kamehameha, though. That's what I was wondering. I thought he had normal Kamehameha, but I wasn't sure. But I, I was hoping he had Super Kamehameha. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> like, I actually would have died if he had... Super Kamehameha. I really wanted to get the Heath Dome attack off, but it didn't happen. I was too high. Like, I thought I was on the ground low enough. I think he, like, slid down a little bit. I, I don't know what happened, but we did not get off that Heath Dome attack. So, like, you know, unfortunately. And now we got Ginyu. Goku versus Vegeta. Look at that. It's <laughs> oh, my God. Just for, I, love, I, already, I love how he's picking the Captain Ginyus, too. Like, that's amazing. Okay, so after this, we're using Ginyu Vegeta. And then... To get you. This is really confusing saying these things. Did we just clash in the clash? Okay. Solar Flare? 
Oh, never, never mind. Oh, doesn't that take two guards to key? I think so. But yeah, like Ginyu literally has Vegeta's fight style. And, like, it's just hilarious. Gin Ginyu's a great character, like especially this game. They they did really good. Especially the fact that he body changed with Vegeta and Trunks too, not just Goku. But that's like I find that hilarious. Here we go. Look at that. What's wrong? What's wrong? Kaka. Oh wait, I'm Vegeta. Hey Vegeta, what's going on? I did not mean to go first down right there. That was my bad. Oh dang, I wanted to hit him with that. Kamehameha. Kam what did I say? Kamehameha? I don't know what I just said. But I said it. Oh! Okay, here we go. Here we go. Back hit. Back dash. Oh man. But yeah, I mean, this this going honestly, Ginyu Trunk or Trunks Ginyu is better than Goku Ginyu. To be honest, but that reminds me of just the title of that episode, like Goku is Ginyu and Ginyu is Goku. Like that's just what that reminds me of. Just that was the title of the episode when um, they switch bodies. Goku is Ginyu and Ginyu is Goku. Just it, it's really confusing. Wait, how many? Ha! There you go. Why does, why does every Ginyu have the bomb key blast? It's weird. I did not mean to sh I meant to do a normal key blast. Okay. Huh? Come on. Come on, man. Man! That, that, that threw me off. That threw me off. Oh, he's got a body change? Oh, it missed. What? I don't know how, but I, I'm fine with it. I'm completely fine with that. I don't know how that missed, but it did. And I'm not complaining whatsoever. Not even a little bit. I don't know how that missed. I 100% should have hit. Oh, hit him with the Kamehameha. <laughs> Ginyu doing a Kamehameha is the most hilarious thing. Oh my god, I love this video already. <laughs> Just, what, what is going on? Just all the Ginyus in this video. All right, but next we got Vegeta Ginyu. Vegeta Ginyu's body, yeah. Vegeta Ginyu. And then we've got Ginyu, Vegeta, and then Ginyu Goku. Which is, you know, Ginyu and Vegeta's body, and then Ginyu and Goku's body. But... Yeah, I'm, actually, is there even a Ginyu? Actually, no, there isn't a Ginyu Vegeta, huh? Yeah, there's not. So, then I guess that all that's left is a... Uh, that's weird. They have it for Trunks and for... Um, oh, you know what? I think it's because you don't actually fight Ginyu and Vegeta's body in this game. Or something. Or he doesn't, like... He's not in the story. I don't know. But we're playing as Ginyu Vegeta now. He just used him. So, that means we've only got three Ginyu presets left. Yeah, we got Ginyu Vegeta... Or Vegeta Ginyu now. Vegeta, no, Ginyu and Vegeta's body. There we go. Oh, did we just switch? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> That's hilarious. We literally just switched characters. <laughs> like I was uh, that I was literally that Ginyu last pre last round, and he was this Vegeta. We literally just switched characters. That's amazing. But uh, okay, <laughs> like it's fine. Uh, hit him with that switcheroo. I do not mean to whip on him like that. And with the grab, let's fighting pose out. Which one? What does it do? Is what it matter? Oh, well, it doesn't matter because he grabbed me out of here. Just can't let me hit my pose. Oh, let me hit my pose. Oh, he's got rush key blast, so he's really Vegeta. Yeah, you see how this uh, Vegeta, quote unquote, has like the combo, has um, Vegeta's combos and stuff. Let's see if there's no names. It you could. Someone would probably literally think that this is Vegeta. But, you know, it's a uh, in you. Like when, once they didn't, once someone did Milky Cannon, they would have been like, wait, what? Like literally, if there was no names, they would have. You would think, yeah, this is Vegeta, because he like the scouter doesn't change much, because he just still wears the scouter. It's just like, yeah, it's just Vegeta. It's your plain old everyday. Vegeta. Really want to hit him with the milk? Oh! Ooh, almost got him with that. Oh! Oh, um, hello. I don't know how I got out of that. Just like two times. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my. I might, he might actually kill right now. He is gonna kill right now. Even though it didn't even hit me, but okay. Like on the screen, it went right under me and whiffed. Uh, I guess that means we got another video. We got another round with Vegeta. Then it'll be Goku. And then custom Ginyu. And then we're finally done. This video's been all over the place. Like, like I I've even been having to like rethink to make sure I haven't missed the Ginyu. 
Which, I mean, the only one we're not playing as is the Xeno Trunks. Or the... We're not playing as this one, because I already used him in a video. But other than that, I think that we've hit all of them. I hope that we've hit all of them. And I'm trying to also, like, think back to make sure I haven't, like, <clears throat> like, you know, gone off a character too far. Why do you pick Tenet, man? Is that so I'm not tempted to body change? I mean, the Cybermen are actually good in this game, not gonna lie. If you don't remember my Cybermen video, they're actually not bad in this game anymore because they buffed them. Which, I mean, I'm so glad that they did, because, like, Cybermen are actually usable. Okay, this one does have self-destruct, so I gotta be a little bit careful. Because, you know, I count self-destruct as a win. Not just for me, but, like, anyone who uses it. If they get it off on me, it's fair game. That's fair game, you know? Like, I, I count it as a win in my video, so I'll count it as a win for them, too. If they get it off against me. I mean, it's self-destruct. It should count as a win. So, yeah, I'm counting it as a win for this if he gets self-destruct off. I'm not gonna do body change. He thought, he thought, he thought, he thought. He thought. A thought. Get over here! Yeah, teleport. Not yet. Stupid. 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 Wow, did you see both of those go off at the same time? That was kind of weird. What you doing? What you doing? Get back over there! Get back! <laughs> but that reminds me of the thing that happened in the Jace video when they flew. Wait, no, that happened at the beginning of this video when they flew straight into the key blast. That's exactly what just happened. Wild. All right, two more presets of Genyu left, and then we'll end off the video. Yeah, this video is gonna be. Honestly, it feels like it's been longer, but I don't know if it's really any long gonna be any longer than the other videos. I mean, if I if I had played as Get Goku and. Sh Vegeta when I was supposed to. This would have been a lot smoother of a video. But I sadly did it. So now we're using Ginyu Goku. And then we've got custom Ginyu and then we're done. So let me show you how it's done. Wait, is that the same preset he has on all the Oh yeah, he has the, he has the same Super Soul on every preset. Jeez, I thought it was just the character ones. But nope. Every preset. I'll show you. Hey Ginyu. But Oh, look at this. Oh, he's using custom Goku. You see the colors? Like, yeah, that's definitely that's custom Goku. Goku versus Goku. It's Goku versus it's Goku Black, which is me, the the original Goku Black. There's been three evil Goku's if you think about it. There's been Ginyu, Turles, Goku Black. Like two of those are actually literally Goku's, but the one of them, which is Turles, is just he looks like Goku. The other two are just people in Goku's body. You just have a special quote with Goku. I can't really hear it. Like my TV's up a little bit. But not by much. Like, because I don't want it to echo through my mic. So I can't really hear it. Come here. Wait, can I kick him into it? Oh, I thought I thought it. Oh, it went off the map, anyways. I wouldn't have been able to either way. I thought I might have been able to kick them into that. No, I'm gonna let him slap me up a little bit. Go ahead, go ahead. He's not. He's not really doing that much. He's not doing that much damage at all. Oh, now we have to grab. I'm just fighting pose after me. No idea. He's gonna transform all with pose. It's just cool. Okay, so can he hit me? No, oh, that's what it does. All right, bet. Also, I really like the colors when he goes Super Saiyan, like for his custom Goku. I really like the colors. It's like they like the Super Saiyan aura, like the lighting on it matches the preset really well. Look at the clothes he put on. Oh, uh, what she doing? I was gonna body change, but not anymore. I missed. Let me do it again. Into the cannon. <laughs> All right. Hey, get you Goku. Okay. Now. My very last preset of Ginyu, which, I mean, it's funny, because the next preset of Ginyu is also a reference to a body that Ginyu has stolen. Which, uh, hopefully this guy doesn't leave. Yeah, he stayed, okay. So, it's funny, because the next preset's literally a reference to that, which, uh, this is... Tagama Ginyu! Yeah, I actually based the armor off of Tagama, which is, he was in Resurrection F, uh, because Ginyu was a frog and ended up on Earth. Remember when they made the wish to bring everyone back to Earth? Yeah, Ginyu ended up staying on Earth, and he ended up body changing with Tagama in Resurrection F. So I decided to like color him after Tagama's armor. Uh, I couldn't give him the scouter, unfortunately, but everything else, it's literally Tagama. So it's just, this has just been covering all grounds of Ginyu. And now we're fighting the perfect Super Saiyan God once again. You know, fighting up against custom Captain Ginyu. Uh, geez, just, this, this video has been kind of crazy. Like, honestly, it, it's fun, though. It's like... 
the fact that it's crazy matches the Ginyu Force perfectly because it's just. Oh, and I forgot I gave this one Crusher Ball because I like that move that much. But yeah, the fact that it's crazy just kind of matches the whole vibe of the Ginyu Force in general. So you know, I'm not complaining that it was crazy, but it was just all over the place. Crusher Ball. I, I told you I, li I love that move, so I gave it to Ginyu. Plus, I mean, it makes sense. It's the move of Ginyu second in command, so you know, it makes sense to give it to him. And of course, Milky Cannon. I have dual milk cannon, but I cannot show that off in this video because I'm not doing 2v2s. <laughs> because, so I can't show off. Like for this series, it's not a 2v2 thing. Oof, so I can't show off. But all the other moves you've seen, except Gini Force Special Combo actually has a lot to it. I might show off everything that I can do later. Okay, well I was going to do that, but you can do it. I don't know why you'd want to, especially since like I'm literally about to die, but I mean... But look, he keeps getting himself low on stamina. That's why he's dumping his stamina, to get me low. So when he body changes, I don't have stamina to like recover for stuff. He's also like kind of wild. And... Like I literally have a lot more health, so it's like I'm kind of chilling. I don't know why he wanted my Ginyu so bad, but he did. Get them disco moves. We'll let my stamina come back a little bit. That's why I haven't been pursuing him. Ooh. Oof. Yeah, see, that's Ginyu for a special combo. I couldn't teleport out of that for some reason. Is that an unmanageable move? I guess it is. I suppose so. Do you have another ult? Yeah, Super Con, my health. And he's got Super Saiyan 3. Yeah, and I haven't even used my TAC in the Xenoverse, which I'm saving my TACs, all my TACs, for the end of the Xenoverse, because, you know, it just seems fitting. And I'm going to use my main CAC, like my actual CAC, like the last. Which, I mean, again, it just seems fitting to save my TACs for last. You know, it's a Xenoverse. The series is the Xenoverse, so you gotta go through all the characters. And you know, the best characters are supposed to be the cats, so it just makes sense to use them last. Oh, come on, he grabbed me. Seriously? I'm, I'm about to die. Oh, come on. Alright, well, uh, we gotta do another round with this game. Like, okay. If y'all didn't catch it before, I know I said that like last time Ginyu won, but that was because it was also already the third round. I didn't explain that. Just to clarify, that did not count as my win before when he body changed me earlier. Because I still, like, it, it was just the third round. That's why we still moved on. But now we, oh, is he leaving? You done? You leaving? Oh, yep, he's leaving. All right. Well, let's hopefully find one more room. And then we'll go in with that. So... All right, so we found another room with Isle Maniac, A I A L Maniac, and yeah, so we got to do two more rounds with Tagama. So let's I'll go. Show I'll show you. All right, and now we've got Captain Ginyu versus Goku. I got Ultimate Charge. I think he picked this map so we can charge. Oh, he, so oh, no, I don't know. I don't know why he picked this map. I, like I saw his aura and I didn't realize he was coming at me. I thought that he was um, charging, <laughs> and I saw his aura, but. Hey, look at that. Ginyu versus Goku. Look at us, huh? Who would have thought? <laughs> Not me. But, God, have y'all seen that meme? Jeez, I, I don't know. But, yeah, we gotta hopefully... Yeah, we throw off the lookout like Raccoon did to uh, that one girl. <laughs> but, man, it's gonna be kind of... Like, it's kind of... I don't know if I have any other, like, big ideas like I wanted to do with the Ginyu Force. Because, like... I just had to do the thumbnail I did with the Ginyu Force because I mean it's just it's the Ginyu Force. You gotta do something special like that. Let's do Ginyu Force special combo at him. Yeet. Milk Ken. And then a uh, Crusher Ball. Okay, do it again. Got him with that one. Milky Cannon. Bro, those. Oh my god, I did so much damage. Those two moves link up really well together. Uh, Crusher Ball and Milky Cannon. Well, I'm gonna head out. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Ooh, Crusher Ball, Milky Cannon. I'm actually glad I picked those two moves. They link up really well. Like, I can do that into this. He flew straight into his bit. So the key bus at him. Oh, why he did that? He just takes the opportunity to charge that. Just can I stupid? Stupid! Oh Jesus! Oh, it's warp. All right. I can deal with warp. Oh, so this is a custom Goku, huh? Oh no, this might be Cell Saga Goku, he just has a chance. Oh! Ah! Got him. <laughs> Hit him square in the face. 
Oh, I, th I meant to hit. I was gonna hit him again. Got him. Let's go. Let's go, Genki. Jeez, we've been recording for a very long time. Any disconnect? All right. All right. <laughs> well, thanks for getting me back to the lobby faster. I guess so. We <laughs> we gonna end it off right here, back in the lobby. So I'll see you guys in a second. But anyways, guys, hope you all enjoyed. Oh my god, the last round was perfect. Perfect way to end off the Ginyu Force, you know, right there. That's the end of the Ginyu Force for the Xenoverse. There's no more Ginyu Force members, no more characters for the Ginyu Force. Honestly, it's like it's kind of sad, you know. I like I love playing as the Ginyu Force, but I mean, I'm sure I'll make other videos in the future at some point where I play as more Ginyu Force members. But still, it's just like like I missed the Ginyu Force. But unfortunately, we gotta move on. But I mean, there's still a lot of other characters I'm ready to play as, so not too sad about it but yeah i hope you guys all enjoyed this video if you did please drop a like comment subscribe and if you like this video that much drop it into your favorites playlist and for the question of the day the question i was actually going to say in the first video i'm saying it now who's your favorite member of the ginyu force and why like do you like let's say you like birders pose the most and that's why he's your favorite uh you think ginyu's moves are the coolest like you think milky cannon's the coolest move on the ginyu force i don't know just give me well, uh, who's your favorite member of the Ginyu Force, and why are they your favorite? But, yeah, that's basically it. So, until next time, boys. Look at me. Look at the Kanton City hero up there. Hold on, what pose is that? I don't even know. It's like, uh, it's like, it's like, um, uh, 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 I don't remember which pose it is. Uh, but, yeah, and that's, uh, let me just do this. No, it's not like that one. I think it's Gather Energy 1, but where's Gather Energy 1? I have Gather Energy 2. I don't know, but yeah, uh, that was it for this video, guys. Hope you all enjoyed, and until next time, I'll see you all later, and peace! Have a good day, y'all.